Hi everyone, Carissa Gore here with Hawaii Real Estate Big Island. And today I'm going to talk about step five in home buying on Big Island, and that is to negotiate. So we've already submitted the offer and there can be three outcomes. We can get our offer accepted as is, which is always really exciting when it happens. And two, it can get rejected, which it does happen. National Association of Realtors um, statistics say that it takes about three times to submit an offer to get one accepted. And right now in our seller's market, we're seeing more than that. So don't get discouraged, just keep trying at it. And number three, the third option is you can receive a counter offer from the seller. And a counter offer is where we get to negotiate. So there should have already been some verbal negotiation between your agent, me, and the seller's agent. And you know, communication back and forth in an attempt to write as clean of an offer as possible. The official negotiation is in the counter offer. So there are different ways and different things that sellers can counter you on. One being, of course, price. An example of that would be the list price of a home is $525. You want to offer $515. Your, your contract that you've offered, your purchase contract, is at $515, and the sellers want to counter you for $520. Now, then you have a choice, you can either accept that or do your own counter and you know you go back and forth with negotiations until something is agreed upon. Now, you can write as many counters back and forth as both parties are willing to work with, but the last counter that is written and signed by both parties and accepted is the one that counts. So with the purchase contract, there's not, you know, 15 counters. There's the purchase contract and one counter. So that one counter should include all the items that you want to have in the counter that you agreed upon and the seller agreed upon also. There are other things that can be in the counter offer other than pricing, such as they want to switch title companies. There may have been a company that already did the preliminary title work, so they want to use that specific title company. So they can also counter on terms such as the length of the inspection period. If you have a 15-day inspection period in the contract, but maybe it's a shorter close, like 30 days, they'll, they'll probably want you to shorten that to maybe 10 days or 7 days, depending on inspector availability and you know of course what you agree upon so that's the negotiation phase go back and forth until there until both parties buyer and seller agree on terms and once both parties agree on terms they both sign the contract and congratulations you have an accepted offer and you will now open escrow that's the exciting part now it's time to get ready and go through the escrow process all the way to closing when you will become a an official homeowner so stay tuned for more on that as always let me know if you need anything i'm here for you